Hi everyone, this is an example of uh, how to add your custom controller into the Arducopter. On the left, we have uh, our master source code clone, and uh, we will follow the documentation given in here. So, when we go down to how to add your own custom controller section, we see that we need to copy and paste the empty controller first. Let's do that. And rename it to something different. Let's call it XYZ. And after that, we will go into here and change everything with the empty to XYZ. Same in here. Okay. Let's save them. And in the next step, we will go into the our front end library and uh, increase maximum number of controller backend at our near backend to this enum list and, and then we will also include our new backend library as well And in the next step, we will also add our new backend library parameter. Let's change its name, like that. And increase each of these numbers by one. And in the step seven, we will also copy and paste this section. and change their name as well and that's it now we uh, created new custom controller backend now we need to compile it this will take a while Okay, we also put a breakpoint in here so that we can see the code is running as we expected. Now, if we start our software loop simulation, and let's connect it to the mod proxy, and go to the how to use it section, we first need to check these parameters are set correctly. Ram set CC. And we see that uh, we already chosen the uh, custom controller backend type S3, which is our newly added backend. And we also enabled all of the access max, mask. And lastly, let's check that RC option is also configured. And it is. So if we reboot, So we don't have to uh, wait for EKF to initialize. We can just enable custom controller right now. And uh, as you can see, uh, the code stop at the breakpoint. And if we go inside it, we can actually uh, run our own custom, custom controller in here. Remove this. Okay. Thank you.